Hi everyone! Okay, so today I'm making a video, it's a little bit different, just a short one really, just to show you the different um, difference between the different sizes of hoops that I do. So I've been making some like oversized hoops, like some particularly large ones, and I thought you might want to know why somebody would choose one of the larger sizes and what the benefits of that is. Um, so I'm going to show you first of all my hoop that I normally use and then a beginner hoop from my workshop hoops so that's like a pretty normal size for a beginner to start learning hoop dance with and then show you one of the chunky hoops that's uh, 48 inches across, 4 foot across and then you can see how, they, how differently they behave. First hoop is my one. It's a light polypro one, but it's got quite a lot of tape on it. Um, it's 32 inches outside diameter. And to keep it up, you have to hula hoop quite fast. And even for me, who's been hooping over 10 years, it's quite challenging, especially now that I've been had like a year or so or barely done any hooping really so trying to keep this one going it's a real workout <laughs> so that's that one the next one is this one I think this one's about 39 inch diameter And this is the one from my beginner's workshop hoops. See, it's a reasonable size. When I put it on the ground, it comes kind of up to my belly button height, which is the recommended size normally for beginners. It feels fairly, uh, quite a bit slower. heavier so I feel like maybe I'm giving it a bit more of a push to get it going but yeah it's probably a little bit more relaxing than my little poly pro one where you've got to go really fast and now last of all this is a 48 inch hoop that I made for somebody this one comes up to chest height for me <laughs> and it's made out of the chunkier tubing, 25mm tubing. This one's really slow. I feel like I don't have to work too hard if I wanted to move around with it. I only have to give it maybe three pushes. So if you're struggling with hula hooping and you want to learn, then actually getting an oversized one can be quite helpful. And then once you've got the hang of the technique, then you can try downsizing to one of the other ones. The disadvantage is this one's going to be quite big if you wanted to spin it on your hands and do other tricks. I mean, it's doable, but it's very big and it's very heavy and it might bump on the floor. One like this, slow enough to do hand tricks, but also it's a reasonable size so it doesn't hit the floor, it's not so heavy on your wrists and your hands. And then this one is super light and responsive in case you want to do real fast snippy tricks. Yeah, so there you go, there's my three sizes of hoops. Of course I do lots of other sizes as well, anything in between. 
Um, so you can check out my shop, hoopmaker.co.uk, if you're in the market for a hula hoop. Um, and if you want something not on there, you can always ping me a message and I'll see if I can help. Alright, take care, bye.